Okay, against the priest. I feel like keeping invokes and the cronks. I'm gonna keep this hand. I think that the double invoke for Highlander, double invoke plus cronks, getting you an upgraded Galakron can be really, really, really powerful. Happy feast of winter day. Uh, I'm not playing Honest Mace that, get that deck as it is. I got it off of uh, Shiro. I got it off of Draconic Studies. I just want to kill this. The guy's kind of scary there. Bud. Here we go. I didn't pick the rogue skin because there's just not many, that many rogue. Uh... You know that's where you belong. You're the star. Well, I did take this for a reason. I feel like against this opponent, Nameless One, looks like they're... Well, like, Antonis is obviously, like, really appealing. I'm gonna take Nameless One to give me more tools to answer my opponent's early stuff when my hand is this powerful. Mm-hmm. Well, mm -hmm. a lot of veil weavers. We're just going to plan to flick them like this. Why did you... Why would you play the wave first? Did he need hand space? Could have needed hand space, yeah. Okay. Well. Peace out. Goodbye, Veil Weavers. We've killed now five Veil Weavers this game. Read in palms. Hmm. Flick does not remove them from uh, from their uh, Deadpool, though. gonna togwaggle or ice burn togwaggle i think i probably still want to i'm just gonna plan to scheme yogs we're doing it we're setting up for scheme into yogs well down the line i don't care i don't care what it takes we're doing it. Scheme into Kronks is just kind of boring. Scheme into Yogs is sweet. Eh. All right. Uh, sure. Okay, so I don't actually have idle. Okay. A simple spell should do. It should. Body of cartoon. I guess we just silence that so it's no longer 1010 play a body of cartoon. Yeah.
We're trading because we want to try and set up the sweet stuff. Probably better off to go face. This Candle Breath seems a little suspect. How many dragons are in this deck? Is it literally just Alex Jaza? I think this deck literally has only Alex Jaza. Oh, there's Alex Jaza though. All right, well. Hmm. We're gonna overdraw unless we cast Scheme, because both of these discover a new dragon. Okay. I guess we'll take another Alex Jaza. Well, hopefully we don't overdraw a Cthulhu piece or a Galakrond. Or, or a Yogg. Okay, that's fine. We don't care about that. Who's already played a Plague of Death? We could play Edmund. We could also just play, like, this into this. We also just need to, like, kind of play cards from hand. I'm gonna do... Because if we play Edwin, we can play, like... Like, we, we, we don't get both of these because our hand is full. I'm going to play this into this. I get some cards out of my hand. Again, opponent has played a Plague of Death, which was discovered, so it's less likely to have... Obviously less likely to have uh, Plague. Okay. fine with this. Again, we're planning to Togwoggle scheme for dramatic, dramatic plans. We got big dreams this game. Edwin's, Edwin's like, you know, he's a little, a little dude. Okay. Yeah, shuffle, shuffle a bunch of Alex Strauss's. Not that useful, but hilarious. We have this flame strike. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I can like actually have a Yog shadow step my Yog, play the Yog, scheme the Yog. Wondrous wand, wand, hit three more Yogs and just Yog off. Just go like a hundred percent full Yog. You gotta have you gotta have big dreams. You know you gotta have goals. I kind of want to just get, get him with Blood Knight. That's what we're doing. Boom. Get him. Nine scheme count. Yusef, you might run out of value. What? How how could that possibly happen? Okay, there's a soul mirror. That definitely uh, makes my opponent's future raise dead substantially work. Unless they get like my my Zef back and have no cards. Okay, I don't have another way to actually actually fire this off. All right. Alright. Give me a Yogg? Clever Disguise. Stowaway. 
Okay, so there's still Eye of Cthune. We have Heart of Cthune into the deck, so this would draw exactly Heart of Cthune, and that's it right now. Well, that was unfortunate. It's not a twin mattress on the floor, no. That is a, that is a dog bed. It's a very substantial dog bed, because Shiro's a very substantial dog. Despite being small, his floof is grand. Hmm. Well, he can't actually... Oh, he can Wondrous Wand me. Yeah. Trying to ruin everything. <gasps> no, he's ruining it. Ha! Fill your hand with a spell. We can't cast at least the. Okay. But now you're just giving me a hand, unless you discount. You discount- wait, you discount Togwaggle Scheme and Scheme something bad. <laughs> okay. I control this. Wave of Apathy. Play this. Kill this. So I get my- he gets an empty hand. On board he can't kill my Yogg. I still have Scheme for 11. Okay. I mean, we're gonna scheme Yogg, because that's just what you do. So, first thing first. Yeah, we're gonna scheme Yogg. I mean, I could have obviously just gotten Cthune, but I don't want that. That's boring. Um, so now we can potion the Yogg? We'll play this first Yogg? Get things going. Oh, let's steal three of your things? Yeah. Okay, well, ooh, now I can discount my stuff. Okay, so we'll overwhelm this. We'll play Eye of Cthun. We'll Clever Disguise. We'll Eviscerate. Ooh, we'll improve morale. This. No, just this, because we actually don't want room taken up by it. Okay. Well, now I have 11 Yogs left in my deck. No, no, no. 10 Yogs and a Cthulhu. No, there's 11 Yogs and a Cthulhu. No, no, the Cthulhu's still here. Still here. Okay. I didn't want a Lackey. I didn't want to give up hand space in case I got uh, a Yogg for, uh, for zero cost spells. My deck is all Yogs, and you won't even let me play the first one! Oh. Yeah, Shiro's pissed, and I am too. Ruin. 